Factoring trinomials where that leading coefficient is not 1, for example, here you see it's 3x squared, is a little more complicated to factor it using guessing and checking. So there are some algorithms, but I'm going to show you one here. Some people call it the AC method. And here's how it goes. You take that leading coefficient, in this example it's 3, and you multiply by the constant. Here we have 10. So 3 times 10 is 30, and you go ahead and write it down. Now, you have to break down the number 30 in all the different ways through multiplication that you can make 30. So 1 times 30, uh, 2 times 15, 3 times 10, 5 times 6 are the different ways that you can make 30. Now look through that list and I want you to tell me which one adds up to 17x because 17x is the middle term. Which one is it? It is the 2 and the 15. So we're going to take that 17x and we're going to write it down below, but instead of writing 17x, we're going to split it into 2x plus 15x. I'm going to bring down the other terms that we have not done anything with here. And we have a nice polynomial. Now it has four terms and we can do what's called the grouping method. We look at those first two and we take out the GCF. The GCF on the first two is x. That leaves behind 3x plus 2 inside a parenthesis. Now turn your attention to the last two terms and the GCF there is 5. And that leaves behind 3x plus 2. Well, look at that. They have the same binomial. It's called a common binomial. So you can factor that out and write it one time right here. And then in a second set of parentheses, you write what's left behind. It was the x and the positive 5. We have just reverse foiled the trinomial that was given 3x squared plus 17x plus 10, and we used an algorithm. There was no guessing and checking. Hey, if you found this video useful, hit that notification bell down below, like the video, and leave your comments down below. I enjoy reading them. Okay, until next time.